Hey, how's it going my friends? I am Emo Sebo. Thanks for watching the video. This is my review for Action Comics number 987. We finally got the identity. We, they finally reveal who Mr. Oz is. Of course, the spoilers because the title of the video says we know the identity and shit, okay? Spoilers. Mr. Oz is Jor-El. Yep. Jor fucking L. Cal's father, of course, Clark's biological father from Krypton. And man, right off the bat, my first reaction to this reveal was, yeah, I knew it. I knew it was coming. There were a lot of hints, little things that they left in uh, issues where he appeared. They, they, it, they were clues. They were saying, it's Jor-El, jor, -El. jor -El was coming. Ever since they teased him in 2014's Superman run with Jeff Johns and John Romita Jr., but like this past year, there has been a lot of clue, a lot of like emphasis on this character, giving him a lot of importance. And now that we know it's Jor-El, I think this raises more questions <laughs> than it gives us answers. I mean, at least we know that it makes sense because Mr. Oz had this crazy obsession with Superman, like a fatherly obsession, and now we know why. I mean, he was always saying, they don't deserve you, Cal, and you know this, and you know that, and blah, 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 blah. Like, he knows Superman. We were like, so like, what the fuck? How is Ozymandias saying these things to Superman? But hey, it's his father, man. Second thing that came to my mind was, DC is doing this fatherly thing now. Because if you remember in Batman's Rebirth, in the Button story, line was awesome, the button. Uh, we see Thomas Wayne interact with Bruce Wayne, father and son. And Thomas tells Bruce to stop being Batman, that he doesn't have to do this with his life. He doesn't owe that to anyone, not even his parents. And now we see this. Jor-El took it to a whole new level, man. <laughs> oh, fucking Jor-El. jor, jor is doing some crazy shit. And he doesn't want Superman to save these people, to, like, help Earth, Earthlings, uh, humans, whatever. He says that he's above that. He shouldn't be doing that. And here's my issue with that. Jor-El has always been super nice, selfless, generous, a really cool father figure in DCEU. But now I think he's like any other Kryptonian. The Kryptonians seem to be elitists. Like they think Earth is uh, boring, is bad, is uh, not powerful enough or something like that. Like they look down upon Earth. They think Kryptonians are far much better. I mean, they are, but they don't have to act or snobby and shit, you know? And after you analyze all of this, you accept it's jor -El. it makes sense. Now you raise these questions like, why the fuck did he do this? Where did he come from? Why is he, or the writers, why are they making him look, or they made him look so much like Ozymandias? I mean, there's a lot of questions also with his look. I mean, people are saying that he probably is from a different universe, maybe, or alternate history, alternate something. He is not the real, like, Jor-El from the same universe our Superman is. Maybe that's different also. And also, there's this question of, why? Why will he be doing this? Is there something, his, does he have a plan? Is he working with Dr. Manhattan? Maybe they're both in this little thing together? I don't know, man. I think Doomsday Clock will answer a lot of our questions and Doomsday Clock is gonna be a big ass event. I wanna see what's up with that already. Maybe they are working together. Maybe jor is the new Ozymandias. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's a lot of questions here. As for the art, I loved I love the sequence where Superman is saving a lot of people from this danger, from that danger. He's so fast and Superman is trying to save everyone. That is Superman's biggest enemy, I think. He is all powerful, right? Almost all powerful. But even he can't save everyone at the same time or everyone, just point, period, just everyone. He loses some people, there are losses, and it hurts him so much that he is not omnipotent and not not omnipresent that's his biggest enemy he can't do everything even with all his might i love that that writing there and the art was amazing for mr oz we will get more information i think in the future maybe in, in doomsday clock i hope we get more information about him 
Thanks for watching the video, my friends. I am Mwasebo. If you enjoyed, please click the like button. Check my other comic book reviews I have on the channel right now. Subscribe to see more. Follow me on my Instagram, on my Twitter, Mwasebo. And of course, I'll see you on the next one.